Tis the year's midnight, and it is the days, Lucy's who scarce seven hours herself unmasks. The sun is spent, and now his flask send forth light squibs, no constant rays. The world's whole sap is sunk, the general balm the hydroptic earth hath drunk. Whither, as to the bed's feet, life is shrunk, dead and interred, yet all these seem to laugh, compared with me, who am their epitaph. Study me then, you who shall lovers be, at the next world, that is, at the next spring, for I am every dead thing, in whom love wrought new alchemy, for his art did express a quintessence even from nothingness. From dull privations and lean emptiness, he ruined me, and I am re-begot of absence, darkness, death, things which are not. All others from all things draw all that's good, life, soul, form, spirit, whence they being have. I, by love's limbeck, am the grave of all that's nothing. Oft a flood have we two wept, and so drowned the whole world us two, oft did we grow to be two chaoses, when we did show care to aught else, and often absences withdrew our souls and made us carcasses. But I am by her death, which word wrongs her, of the first nothing the elixir grown. Were I a man, that I were one, I needs must know, I should prefer, if I were any beast, some ends, some means, yea, plants, yea, stones detest, and love, all, all some properties invest. If I an ordinary nothing were, as shadow, a light and body must be here. But I am none, nor will my sun renew. You lovers, for whose sake the lesser sun, at this time to the goat is run, to fetch new lust and give it you, enjoy your summers all since she enjoys her long night's festival. Let me prepare towards her, and let me call this hour her vigil and her eve, since this both the years and the day's deep midnight is.